This is probably gonna be a shorter video. I just wanted to update people on how the fasting is going. It's been a week and it sucks. I've been trying to look ahead, keep my eyes on the prize, focusing on the reasons that I've been doing the fast and why I started in the first place. But it's just like every day and every night is a painful experience. There are really like two things that have been extremely hard about fasting because I mean the way my body feels doesn't bother me a whole lot like I've been through worse I know what physical pain feels like so it's not like that's anything that's really like holding me back but the big things are one just missing the feeling of food in my stomach like it's not a it's not that it's painful to not have the food in there but it just is so comforting to have a full stomach and to swallow things and to chew things and the other thing is the social aspect of food. I really miss sitting down at a table with other people and enjoying a meal. I guess there's more than two things. There's actually also smell, which is a big part of it as well. Um, smelling food being cooked and smelling the food that's on the dinner table and the food that other people are eating for snacks, really, it's like, oh, I can smell it so, the smell is so intense. It's so intense, it's so much, I can smell things so much better than I could before I started fasting. And then also I just find myself thinking about food a lot too, thinking about different recipes and the kinds of food that I would like to eat. <sighs> In order to counteract all that negativity, I've been researching. And research helps me to want to continue fasting because it reminds me of why I'm fasting in the first place. I'm pretty sure that right now I'm in the acidosis phase of fasting. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not 100% sure. Um, basically what that means is my body's, as quickly as it possibly can, it's, it's removing toxins from my body. And so I can smell that in my skin. Uh, it's coming out in my skin. It's coming out in mucus. It's coming out um, in my, on my tongue. Like my mouth always tastes terrible. Soon though, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how soon, but hopefully soon um, I'll enter another phase of fasting. And basically what happens in that phase is kind of the, the main toxins, like the, the majority of that stuff has been removed. And so, you know, like you'll notice the tongue will start to clear up and you'll feel like you have a little bit more energy or a little bit more clear minded, a little bit less groggy. Um, and that's when your body starts to heal things. And so... Uh, scar tissue, bones that have been broken in the past, like muscles that have been damaged and things like that, tumors, your body will focus all its energy on fixing and removing some of those things. And that is like the biggest thing for me right now that I'm looking forward to is experiencing that because I just want to cover all my bases, you know, if I have a tumor in my body or if there's something wrong with me that I won't notice until I really exert my body, I don't want that to catch up with me when I don't have time to fast like I am right now. And so that's one of the things that I'm looking forward to. Another thing is just continuing to lose weight. I'm not like a, a heavy person. I'm not, I don't consider myself fat or over overweight, but I mean, it's always nice to kind of downsize a bit, I guess. Like I said in the last video, I wanna make sure that I at least pass nine days, but in order to really achieve the full benefits of a fast, you need to go longer than that. If all goes according to plan and I don't cave, uh, I'd like to go somewhere between 20 and 30 days uh, if my body needs that. I've, I keep telling people, even though it might not be true, because uh, you know, who knows, right? Like, I've had fasts in the past where I, I reach like day three or even day two sometimes, I'm just like, I'm done. Like, this is, I'm done. So that might happen to me. I hope it doesn't. I'm, I've been trying really hard to not let that happen, but stupid birds. <sighs> yeah, the internet, the internet. Well, it is my biggest source of information. The internet says, people on the internet say that um, really the best time to stop fasting is when you re the hunger returns and I, hunger disappeared within between day three and day four. That's when I stopped being hungry. I stopped like my stomach stopped growling and I stopped really like 
feeling like something was wrong and, and then start things started to norm, normalize, I guess. Like my body was kind of like, all right, he's not going to get food anytime soon, so we better shut off the, the hunger switch there. Um, so when that returns, when hunger returns, and it's intense because it will be intense once your body has achieved all it has set out to achieve during the fast, you will feel extremely hungry. Um, that's when it's time to end your fast. And I want to reach that point. I don't know if I will, but I would like to. That would be a huge achievement for me. So anyways, that's just an update on how things are going. I, I don't know when my next update will be, but um, if anyone's out there and they're fasting right now or planning on fasting in the future, uh, I hope that this is in some way resourceful for you. I don't know if resource was the right word. Maybe just, I hope that it is a resource for you. Yeah, anyways. Peace out. No, the there's, previous videos right here and like, the other previous previous videos over here. No. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, go! Oh, go! People will subscribe it.